Hello friends, welcome to the new episode. In this video I'm gonna make a short review for this model from Steel Dive 1953 Submarine. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with this watch, it's not something new, it's been ages on the market. But there is something new today I wanna show you. So, as you can see, you may guess, yeah, it's 1953, but you are right and wrong at the same time, because here are two different watches from Steel Dive. The first one on the left is really 1953 with NH35 movement, the 41 millimeter case diameter, 13.5 millimeters K thickness, and of course the lug is 20 millimeters. Here, on this side, we have the same 41 mm case diameter, the same uh, thickness of the wood, the same bracelet size, the same bracelet actually, but here it's already with up upgraded uh, clasp, so it's a bit better. We can compare it to the old version, it's, it looks so-so and lots of people complain about it, but they fixed this. So what is the difference between two watches? This one, the old version, runs on NH35 movement, when the quartz model runs on 2115 quartz movement, probably that's uh, Miyota, I'm not sure it, it's not specified which was the name of the movement. Uh, both watches are 300 meters waterproof. But there are some differences. On 1953, the date is a bit bigger and it's better visible. When on 2115, the quartz watch, the date, as you can see, is smaller and less visible. Then another difference, the bezel quality. On 1953, it feels a bit better. When on the quartz model, it's still good but it feels really light and maybe a bit cheaper for sure cheaper and also you can notice that the difference is in the color of the bezel insert here and another difference is that 1953 has loom for the bezel when the quartz model doesn't have loom and the rest the rest is actually all the same. Just in one moment I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how bright is actually the loom in these two watches. Wait a moment. So first I'm gonna show you 1953. Here I have UV flashlight. Let's leave it for five seconds. And here you go. You can see it is incredibly bright. Okay, let's leave it this first. Take a look, this very beautiful and bright blue loom, very nice loom. And here, as you can see on the dial markers, absolutely the same loom, the same brightness as this one. The only difference is that there is no loom on the bezel insert. And that's it. And the difference in the price, also the price a little bit different. Um, not as different as I think it's supposed to be. Like during the promotion you can grab 1953 for about $70. But this one cost me um, cost me about $60. Yeah. But as you as you know already this should be cheaper than automatic movement with NH35. Ah, and by the way, yeah, they both have sapphire glass, so don't worry. Um, that's it. That's basically it. The dial in the sun, it looks a little bit different. 1953, a bit darker. This one brighter, the same as the, the color of the bezel insert. Okay, I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, don't get tricked if you want to buy this model uh, maybe from someone and they're telling you that this is 1953 you may see you may notice that here there is no word automatic 
when here on 15 on 1953 there is a word here automatic 300 meters okay so everybody thanks for watching this video gonna make more and more every day thanks for supporting